Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel pretty much and I'm going to be starting a new series now and it's going to be on the game called Pikmin 3 for the Nintendo Wii U and we are going to be I'm going to quickly show you how to kill all of the bosses I'm going to do 1 to 3 today and I'm going to do this, the next 4 um, later like maybe later on in the series so yeah let's just let's just go all right, your first boss is the Armored Mordad. Now this boss, I'd say, is the second easiest out of all of the bosses. As all he does is just move around, really. He doesn't take anything. To, it doesn't take much to kill him. So what you're gonna want to do is you just want to come over here and then go and break his tail. You're gonna want to target his tail, like the back of him. Don't break his entire body, breaking his entire body is bad. Alright, now you've broken his entire tail. Gather up all your rock pigment. Yep, go to the reds. Now there is a very good way to do this, like a pro way. And that's to throw one pigman or one of the captains over there. And then he'll target that captain. Pretty much. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, all of my Pikmin just got eaten. To get all your Pikmin out, just break one of his like little pieces of armor. Just break some of his armor, and then it will let all the Pikmin out. So yeah, I haven't played Pikmin in so long. It's been like, years. And I just found it, and I thought, oh, I'll just hold a tutorial on that. I'm out of ideas at the moment, you guys are going to have to help me in the comments, but... So yeah, I believe if you do that and you switch captains... Yeah look, he's going to go for that captain there. Giving Alf and all of the Pikmin a little chance to get in there. And try and kill the big slow, or whatever it is, Caterpillar. Yep, he's going for Brittany again. So you just gotta work. keep on throwing your Pikmin at him. Or possibly even charge. Like, you're gonna wanna charge on him as much as you can. Just do everything you can, pretty much. We're gonna gather up all our Pikmin again. Okay, Brittany needs to stay over there. Brittany's a sacrifice, pretty much. Brittany's, Brittany's a sacrifice. It's Brittany, Alf, and Charlie, I believe, are the three captains there. So he's gonna see me. Hopefully, he's gonna go for me. Please go for me. Don't go for Alf! Yes, okay, so he's gonna go for Brittany. He's gonna scoop up Brittany, and then. Uh oh, wait, I'm out, I'm down, so I have to. Do that. And do this. So yeah, there's a couple ways that you can do this. You can do it the slow way, where you kill every single part of them, or you could just break the tail. Now I'm a little bit rusty with Pikmin, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna do what I can to be honest to kill him. But yeah, just keep on switching between the captains. Okay, he's gonna be going for Alpha, so I'm gonna get Alpha and I'm gonna move him. Oh no! Ah! All right, uh, break his face, break his face. Oh my god, I'm getting eaten. Oh no. Oh, 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 go, go, go. Go, Pikmin. No, oh my gosh. Oh my Pikmin are getting eaten. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. No, get up, get up, get up. Oh, that was that was very scary. I didn't like that. Oh, here he is again. Hello, oh, right. Uh oh. Alright, and then charge, 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 go. Yep, and that should finish him off. All those red Pikmin have a lot of damage per second. Oh, that didn't finish him off. That got him really, really low, though. See, when you have, like, a million... One red Pikmin kind of... Kind of sucks. I mean, it's just, like, one damage. Per hit, I think it is. But if you have, like, 20 red Pikmin on him, it's 20 damage per second. That can be really, really good. So, we finished that boss. Now, moving on to the second one. Moving on now, we're going to go to the Vehemoth Phosphat. The Vehemoth Phosphat. The Vehemoth the, 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 
Uh, whatever. Let's just let's just go. All right, going in now. This guy, I would say, is one of the easiest. As all he does is fly about. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your yellow pitman and throw him at all of these electric gates. So you're going to have 10 for that one. And then that's going to light it up and it's going to hurt him. And then once you hurt him, you're just going to want to hit him. Hit him as many times as you can. You can charge on him, you can do whatever you want. Oh, don't run into the electric gate, that's bad. But when he gets back up, he's gonna do poison powder. So you have to do, you have to whistle to get all your Pikmin back. I think this is the boss battle where you rescue Charlie as well. So yeah, you're gonna want to wait until he's quite close. Just get all of the, just get when he's quite close. You're gonna want to um, do the light, and then he's gonna be stunned. And then we just get all our Pikmin, and we, we charge him. We charge him. We charge him down. We get him. We get him. Get him. Nice. Okay, you're gonna wanna destroy these little pods as well. Oh, what's happened now? You alright, mate? You just having a moment? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna wanna kill all of those with the pod. That was strange. That was extraordinarily strange, but I'm not gonna complain. Okay, once you've once you've gotten some of those. You can then start moving on a little bit. Then you can come over here and throw your rock pigment at this glass gate and it'll break it open. It'll break it open and then you just gotta wanna come in here. And charge on those tiles. And then all your pigment are gonna pick up all of those tiles. Oh god wait, Brittany's still over there. Okay, Brittany's a distraction. Brittany's a distraction. We're gonna distract them. We're gonna distract them. Alright, let's go. Get the pigment out of the ground. Alright, he's flying about over there. The Pikmin with the flowers are going to be a little bit faster. Yeah, you see all the yellow Pikmin with flowers? They're already back. Oh god, okay, yeah, he's going to do his, he's going to do his wind move now. So he's going to, he's going to, like, absorb, pretty much. And then when he starts absorbing, you're just going to want to just mind out the way a little bit. And you'll be alright. Okay, now you're gonna wanna come over here to kill all these guys. You're just gonna wanna again throw all of your yellow pigment over there, and it should just it should do a lot of damage over time. And then you can destroy these little things with your rock pigment. Uh, and you walk them through the honey, and they can eat the honey. They can eat the honey, and then they get flowers in their head. That's cool. All right, we're gonna wanna pluck all the pigment out the floor, and then where is he right now? All right, where is Brittany? Brittany is over here with a load of my Pikmin. Okay. Well, seeing if Brittany's just taking all the Pikmin, let's just go up here. Okay, for this one you need yellow Pikmin. 25 yellow Pikmin you're gonna need to reach up there. You might be able to use rock Pikmin and red Pikmin on, you sure. I think you can use reds if you stand at a specific angle. Or there might be an easier way to get up there. I'm not too sure. But take out as many of these things as you can as well, because they're really, really annoying. When there's a load of them coming at you, with the boss. Okay, and that is going to finish off the bridge. And then once they finish off the bridge, you can just you can just walk over it. And then this is what weakens in the most. You're gonna want 20 yellow Pikmin, so you can throw you can throw a Pikmin into there, and the flower kind of absorbs it, and then it turns it into a yellow Pikmin. You're gonna want 20 yellow Pikmin. You're gonna throw them all up there, and then the big light bulb will come on. Yeah. Oh, we got him now. All right. Yeah, and you you have to pluck your yellow pick out for. All right, and then, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna come over here and charge, charge Pitman. Go, go. Is he getting up? He's getting up. Okay, turn back into Alf. Turn back into Alf. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna follow him around. You can actually throw Pitman on him while he's flying. It's quite hard to, but whistle up. Brittany, 
And then throw your pigment. And then throw all of them. You're gonna wanna throw all of them, you're gonna wanna charge. Charge and throw. Charge and throw. Oh goodness me. Okay. Um Alright, they're all coming. That guy is very, very big. I'd say this one's one of the easiest. He's just the most strategic. Yeah, oh, okay, just whistle them to get out. No, where are the rest of them? Did some of them faint? I think some of them are faint. Alright, now you still want to keep on throwing the Pikmin at him. Yep, and when he's down like that, you can charge on him. And that's going to deal a lot of damage to him. And he should be he should be finished off on the next one now. So yeah, let's let's go. Let's, let's go. Yes, okay. You can actually throw some pigment up there like that to do a little bit of damage as well while he's going. Yep, and you want to throw your pigment, and that's gonna be it for that boss, I believe. Hopefully, no, not yet. Wait, yep. Okay, there we go. And that is gonna be it for the venomous boss battle. Moving on to the final boss now, well not the final boss in the game, but the final boss of this video, because it's getting a little bit too long, is the Sand Belching Mere Slug. And he's a big, he's a big worm slug, he's really really ugly. I don't like him. So yeah, he's just going to come out of the floor on Wiggler Wanna. Try and do as much damage as we can to him, to try and kill him. So yeah. I found out a really good strategy is to throw your friend onto the pigment because then they pull him all out the floor for you and he is just eating my pigment. He ate the one in the floor, that's cheating. He just cheated. You all saw it. He cheated. So yeah, you can grab these as well. Grab these bomb rocks. It makes it a little bit easier. Yep, now you can whistle back Brittany. Once he's finished getting all the pigment out. And then you can also whistle back Charlie. And you're gonna wanna wait for him to come out the floor like this. Because then he's vulnerable. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Wait, that's not good. That's not good. What if my pigment is dead? Go. Whoa. Okay, I kind of needed those bomb rocks. I kind of needed those bombs to show off something else that you can do. Oh my god, he's back! Oh my goodness! Okay, go, 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 go! Okay, he's gonna throw rocks at your Pikmin from in the sky. Yeah, they're quite hard to dodge because Pikmin don't have a very good line of sight. Although they're doing this game, they're doing this, they're doing Pikmin 3. They're in Pikmin 2, they're kind of bad. Uh, he's gonna go into the ground, which is gonna give us time to get all the Pikmin out the floor and dig up this. If you dig that up, I'm pretty sure you get bomb rocks. You need yellow Pikmin. They dig stuff a little bit faster too. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Alright, uh, there he goes. Yes. Take and get that. Come on. Come on quick. Oh my gosh. He can see us. He can see us. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. And then you, that, yeah, you pick up those. And he's going to come out the floor once more. I'm going to charge on him. And then he's going to appear out the floor like that. And then we're going to charge on him once more. And then he's going to take a whole bunch of damage. A whole bunch of damage. Get your bomb rock guys away so they don't explode. I'm sorry if I'm shouting as well. I love, I love, I love, I love Pikmin so much. It's so cute. Alright. Come here, you slug. Yep, get your bomb rock guys away. You need the bomb rock guys for when he goes into the floor. Because that's when you need that's when you need the bomb rocks. 
I'm in story mode, I don't actually think you can get any, but you can get some from those things. From right before the one. Okay. He's gonna do like a big sand attack now. And to get all your Pikmin out, you're just gonna wanna whistle them in. And they should just run to you. And then throw your bomb rocks. Throw them! Chuck them! That did no damage. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't know what happened there. That should have done some damage, but that did no damage at all. So that... <laughs> I mean... That was terrible. Okay. Well, you need to chuck them in. You need to chuck in the bomb rocks. Go! Oh! He's doing like... He's doing an assault! Aerial assault! Oh, gosh! Get him! Aerial attack! Aerial attack! Alright, he's coming up again. Alright, this is one more copy of that Pikmin. Get him! Get him, boys! Get him! Nice! Yep, and then you just get a water. That should be enough. No, oh, he's got a little bit more health. He's got the tiniest little bit more health. Okay, we're gonna get a few of these guys out the floor again. Uh oh. Well, you're dead. Bye bye. Okay, we're gonna get all these guys out the floor. Come on, Alf and Charlie and Brittany. And the um, I think there's one more somewhere. Um, no, there's, there's five captains in this game, and that's um, Alf, Brittany, Olimar, with his, his rocket ship is around here somewhere. Alright, here we go. This should be the final one. I don't want to jinx anything, but this should be the final one. And there he goes. And that is going to be it for this video. If you've enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like and do all that notification bell. And I will I'll be recording again probably tomorrow, so it'll be a new video tomorrow. And yeah, thank you all for watching and goodbye.